Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to show you how you can create dynamically updating charts inside of Webflow, all using their CMS. Let's get right into it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be using something called Chart.js, which is kind of an open source HTML chart generator to generate code that we can then embed onto our Webflow site and then link dynamically to our Webflow CMS collections. Now, there's a lot of complex code that we could use potentially using this chart.js, a lot of which I don't really wanna get into in this video because it's very complex and it's just kind of a waste of time. So I just wanna focus kind of on the basics of how we can create a bar chart, a pie chart and all that, get it into Webflow, embed it into Webflow, and then link those charts dynamically to our CMS collection KPIs. Let me stop rambling now and let's hop right into the video. Here we go. All right, so just a quick background here. I have a dashboard page right here set up in our CMS template page right here, all right? So we are pulling in these three KPIs, month to date, year to date, and prior year sales, all dynamically from our CMS collection named new members. You can see I'm pulling in my month to date sales field from there. I'm pulling in my year to date sales figures from there. And I'm also pulling in my prior year sales figures all from that new members CMS collection, which I have right here in these three fields, all right? So anytime I update, the numbers here, my dashboard will update back over here. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna do the same thing, but in chart form. So when I update one of those numbers, my bar chart will update, my pie chart will update, all automatically, all dynamically, all driven off of that CMS collection. So it's very important that you have this already set up from my previous video, which I'll have linked right here, all right? Now, step number one in this process is we're gonna come here, and I have a nice little starter guide that this guy made, and I'm gonna have this link down below as well. But it's very nice because like I said, Chart.js is very complex, but this guy distills it down into a very nice, palatable, digestible little examples that we can use on our site. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna grab this script right here. And we wanna put this into our Project Settings Custom Code tab. All right, so we'll go to Project Settings Custom Code. And I'll just drop this down right here underneath my member stack script already there from the previous video. All right, so we'll save this and we'll come back into our designer. Okay, so now step number two is let's come back to our little starter guide. We're gonna scroll down and now we just need to choose the type of chart that we want to present inside Webflow. So in this example, I want a bar chart, all right? Now there's a bunch of different examples here that this guy provides line charts, pie charts, all sorts of good stuff. But for the chart I'm gonna make today, I just wanna make a bar chart. So I'm gonna scroll down, and this guy's given us a bunch of nice custom code, so we don't have to worry about it. Again, this will be linked down below. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna come back to Webflow. I'm just gonna Command K, and I'm gonna drop in an embed. All right, so we can put in our custom code. I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna grab this first little canvas tag code right here. I'm gonna paste it in. This is basically creating the canvas that our chart is gonna sit on on our page, all right? You can change the width and the height as you want here. Uh, these are in pixels, all right? I'm not gonna touch them for now. I'll then come back to our starter guide. I'm gonna grab this section right here. Now, this is the chart section. This is the, this is the section that's giving our chart labels and data points and titles and things like that in different colors. So this, this is the very important and customizable chunk right here. So I'll hit Command C to copy it and I'll just paste it in right here. Now you can see that this text is like grayed out. So that's because the code isn't live right now. We need to add a script tag at the beginning and then close the script tag at the end, just like this, all right? So make sure that you have all your chart code in between an open script tag and a closed script tag, all right? So that's that, that's step number two. Now step three is we need to customize all this custom code here to get the data points that we want dynamically from our CMS collection and also update some labels and things like that. Now, don't be scared right now from the custom code element of this. I'm gonna break it down for you and we're not gonna get very complex here, all right? I promise. It's gonna be very basic. So a couple things you need to know. Firstly, we have a labels line here. Now notice we have one, two, three, four, five different labels for five continents, all right? Now these five labels, that's called an array right there. So we have five different items separated by commas, all right? That's an array of five items. That corresponds perfectly to our data array right here. So we can, so we can see we have five separate 
data points or numbers that correspond to our five different labels up here. So Africa, the data point corresponding to Africa will be 2478. The data point corresponding to North America will be our last one, 433. All right, so that's how that works. Same thing here for our background color. Each bar, each of our five bars is going to have a unique hex code for its background color. So for me, in this example, I only have three KPIs. Remember, I have a month to date, a year to date, and a prior year sales KPI that I want. So for me, I only need three of these labels and I can rename them here. Month to date, year to date, and prior year. You can name these whatever you want for your custom client dashboard, whatever KPIs you wanna present. And you can have, I think you can have as many as you want. All right, now down here, and this is the most important part of this entire video. So if you don't get anything else from this video, watch this. This is how we pull in our data dynamically into our three new labels right here. I'm gonna delete this out. I'm gonna come up here to add field. And when I do this, I can pull in my CMS fields dynamically. So my first label was month to date. So the first data point I want in my first bar on my bar chart is a month to date sales data point. My second one is year to date sales because that's my second label. And then lastly, I want my prior year sales right there. So month to date, boom, year to date, boom, prior year, boom. Now I can delete out these last two background colors here because I don't need them. And I can change these hex codes to any color I want. I'm not going to touch it for now, but you can if you want. And I'll hit save and close. All right, and then when I publish it, we should be able to see this chart live on our site. So I'll refresh and perfect. Here we go, we'll scroll down and we can see we have this nice big chart right here and it's pulling in our data. So we have month to date sales at 40, perfect. Year to date at 500 and prior year at 1000. So theoretically now, if I come back to my CMS collection and I come into Big Hoss and I change one of his numbers to, I don't know, 550, and I hit save and then publish it again, theoretically that chart, that second bar in my chart should go up. So let's double check, make sure that's working. So we'll hit refresh and boom. So now we're at 550. So perfect. So this is all updating dynamically by using Webflow CMS. So it's pretty awesome. Now there's a lot of different charts that we can use here. A lot of different charts, line charts, uh, pie charts, radar charts, all sorts of stuff. All of this is gonna be in the guide that will be linked down below, but that's kind of what I wanted to show you in this video, how we can use Chart.js to dynamically pull in our KPIs on our dynamic CMS-driven client dashboards. Again, we can make this prettier. I don't wanna get into the details of CSS code and all that good stuff, but there's a ton of guides out on the internet, some of which I'll have linked down below for how you can make these charts really, really pop and add a bunch of bells and whistles to it for your sites. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you now understand the basics of how you can bring in HTML charts into Webflow dynamically by using their CMS. I hope this helps you build your sites. I hope this helps you build your client dashboards if you wanna add charts and things like that. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing, that'd be awesome. If you have any questions, get down in the comments and let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for being here. We're growing fast now, and I cannot believe that you guys are all so supportive and helpful and pushing me along. So again, thank you so, so, so much for your support, and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.